I've left out a crucial part in all of my videos and that's because truthfully, I've not been applying it myself until now. And I've been paying the price for it. You'll have gone through this too. And that is the constant feeling of I'm not doing it. But by the end of this video, you won't ever be worrying about it again. With the countless comments about how much my videos have helped people, I felt like I had to make this video to include a detail I hadn't yet mentioned. And it's demonstrated perfectly in episode 11 of Haikyuu's latest season. Right at the end of Krasno's long battle with Inuizaki, the score is tied at 30 all. Osamu serves the ball and the receives comes back to Kageyama, who, with nerves of absolute steel, flicks a setter dump over the net to put Karasno at match point. But they're exhausted. The rate at which they've been attacking is simply not sustainable. And as such, they're desperate to end this as soon as possible. With a familiar call of just one more point, Tsukushima's clever mind games return as his serve completely catches Inuizaki off guard and Karasuno begins to relentlessly launch attacks at them. It seems sure that they're going to win, but their wise coach Ukai seems to think otherwise. He desperately shouts from the sidelines, take it slow, slow down. And I remember being really confused as to why the first time I saw this, because why was he telling a team renowned for its speed to slow down? That was what had got them to where they were. And with the blistering attacks Krasno were firing off, they were sure to win, right? Wrong. As he says this, the corners of the screen darken. Krasno have hit a point where they're going so fast, their attacks are becoming less and less effective. To a point where nothing is happening besides tiring themselves out even more. Their speed has become a curse until with a call of, I've got it, the wings of Karasuna grounds his team with a beautiful high pass. Such a simple, trivial thing, yet everyone forgets it. But in that moment, it was the best decision any of them could have made. And you might guess where this video is going from here, but there's so much more to it. There's a crucial point in Daichi being so shocked at where Hinata got this from that I'll come back to. But before that, here's a question for you. How often have you said health is the most important thing? At least a few times, right? But how often have you actually prioritized your health? I believe in sacrificing things which don't really bring you any actual enjoyment for. Things that do, in working hard, being disciplined and aiming high, but only after you've taken care of yourself. You're likely not taking it to the same extreme I was, but I bet if you're also honest with yourself, you've said the line, health is the most important thing countless times, but almost never actually prioritized it. And no one's been more guilty of this than I have recently. As mentioned in this community post a while back, my working weeks recently have been ridiculous hours. Hence why the upload rate has just been so, so slow. But really it should have been even slower. I was staying up till 2 a.m. getting four or five hours sleep, not going to the gym, not eating some days, not doing anything but working on these videos. And I do just want to reiterate that this purely came from my own slightly reckless ambition. There hasn't been a single comment saying, you need to upload more, why haven't you uploaded it? Or anything like that. It's so that everyone watching this kind of content understands that it takes a long time to make these scripts. Like they are hard to make, but the point stands that I was sacrificing my health for speed and it was having a detrimental effect on me because eventually I hit the point where that lack of sleep really caught up to me. I wasn't able to come up with the ideas for the scripts because I was just too tired to focus. Just like Karasuno, my speed was slowing me down. And I think that's actually likely the best, most common example. Trying to go too fast and staying up late to work will actually slow you down because the next day, you're just going to sit there and stare at the screen because you're too tired to actually work. In a different video, which I'll link at the end, I talk about how you're likely aiming too low but trying to go too fast. The complete opposite of Hinata's high, slow toss. And there's two main reasons for that. The first of which is frustration at feeling behind. Now, Hinata knows this better than anyone. Remember, this guy could barely train for years. He'd spend years with no one to train with for a team sport. Then he had to watch both 
Tsukushima and Kageyama get called up for national training and I can't even imagine how frustrating being relegated or seemingly relegated to come back to. So being a ball boy after going through all of that must have felt for him. Now you might feel behind from the people around you but you also get a lot of pressure without even realizing it from online which links in very nicely to the next point and that is unrealistic time frame expectations. So imagine Hinata on day one when he barely knew how to play volleyball saying I'm going to be like those pro players I saw on TV in three weeks or that guy who says well I'm going to start going to the gym and look like this guy after two months. I mean it's ridiculous right but a very similar thing is likely happening to you without you realizing it. So our brains are simply not wired to process anything more than a few people around us in our little tribe. So the online world is incredibly difficult for us to process. You see the top 0.01% of the world in your Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever feed. And the algorithm makes your brain feel as though everyone is doing that well. And because you don't see how long they spend working to get to that stage, your brain simply can't handle it. It gets frustrated because it doesn't understand why it's not there right now. Hence you get into this awful state and suffer the big problem I faced lately and the one that Hinata has sold to me. You've likely experienced something very similar where even though realistically you're just not in a state to work, you feel like you're falling behind if you don't or you can't shake that feeling that you should be doing something all the time. Maybe you've even had it to the same extreme I had where you'd be out doing something else, you know, seeing friends, seeing family, and you'll feel like you should be working. You feel almost agitated whenever you're not doing something productive. And this links in really nicely to an earlier scene, which is Hinata's perfect receive. Remember how Hinata spent half a season just as a ball boy? How at the time it seemed like a complete waste of time because after all, what possible good could come from being a ball boy. It seemed like everyone else was flying way ahead of them, that everyone else was in a much better situation than he was. As though they were doing so much more than him, but if it wasn't for Hinata's time at the camp, he would have never honed his receiving skills to the level needed to pull off that beautiful receive. And in the context of this scene, he would have never even thought about slowing down his play. That's the complete opposite of his current play style. But without that, Krasno would have likely lost this game. This seemingly pointless situation he was forced into gave him a unique advantage and one he never would have found if he'd kept going full speed all the time. Which is exactly why Dutch was so confused as to where this new Hinata had come from. Simply going full speed all the time is often not the best way to go about doing things. You know, you're not falling behind because you're spending some time doing other things. Within reason, of course. Obviously, if you're unhappy and your routine is what I used to be a few years ago, where you just wake up and play League of Legends for 12 hours a day, then you're taking it too easy, you know? And I've got a ton of videos to help you with that. But if that's not you, here's something to bear in mind. The reason you and I strive towards whatever goal it is you're aiming for is to feel good, right? Whether it's feeling good about your physique from your hours at the gym, feeling good about your grades from hours studying, or for me, obviously, it's my subscriber goal. But there's plenty of other things in life that will make you feel good too. And I don't mean instant, short-lasting gratification. I mean genuinely good. You know, social connection, time in nature, learning new hobbies, trying new things. Or for me, where I've not been going to the gym, sleeping enough, or eating enough, I've lost a noticeable amount of gain. And that really hurts to look at myself. And you know what? If I can't hit my sub goal without sacrificing my sleep, ruining my health, cutting out my social life, then I simply can't hit that goal. I'm still aiming for 50K, but if I can't hit it without depriving myself of all these essential things, then so be it. Some things can and should be sacrificed, but some things definitely should not be. Now, of course, you can't do everything, and it's a very difficult balance to find, but it's important to remember there's so much more to life than any one thing. Also that nothing will make you feel better than good health. And if you're sacrificing your health in the slightest, then much like carotid attacks, it simply isn't sustainable. Which of course is always the most important thing. So take care of yourself first. Go to the gym, cook the healthy food, get enough sleep, then work on your ambitions, not vice versa. And give yourself some time to do the other things in life 
that matter. And just like he needs to pass, you'll go higher than you ever would have, focusing on just spiking at 100% speed all the time. Thanks for watching, bro. If you enjoyed this, check out these two videos here. And I'm going to drop the channels very first. Please like and subscribe. As mentioned, there'll be more Haiky content in the future. So I'll see you then for that one.